Hello, what is up guys? Evil Duos Arm here, back with another Fallout 76 video. In today's video, I'm going to show you the location of 10 cap stashes that you can easily farm each time you log in for a nice chunk of change. During this run, I made about 450 caps in about 5 minutes, but depending on how lucky you get, as well as if you're using Cap Collector, the 3 point luck perk, you could get more or less. And real quick before we begin, if you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing to stay updated when new Fallout 76 videos come out. Without further ado, let's begin. So what you're going to want to do is fast travel to the Poseidon Energy Plant located in the bottom leftish of the map near Charleston. This will spawn you right here and we can begin the run. So what you're going to want to do from the spawn is head over to the right where you see the groups of tents and the first cap stash is going to be located on top of this bin right here behind the protest sign. Let's go ahead and pick that one up and move on to our next cap location which is going to be inside of a tent directly across from here so a few steps away. If you're high enough level you don't even have to worry about the scorch because they do like no damage. They're like level 1s and 6s. So don't even worry about them. But if you are lower you might have to pick them off. Also there are a decent amount of experience for lower level people anyway so you can go ahead and clear them. But anyway next cap stash location is located underneath this little table right here. And from there, you're going to want to head across the way. There are mines across the way, so you're going to want to watch out for the mines. But anyway, directly across from here towards the plant, and you'll see like a little alcove area over here that you see me walking towards. So behind that lamppost dead ahead is going to be another cap stash sitting on top of the little boxes right here. From here, what you're going to want to do is head on over to the cooling towers. So each cooling tower has some cap stashes in it. The one on the right here has one cap stash, and the one on the left has two cap stashes. So we're going to start with the one on the right, and if you go up the left staircase for both of them, it'll make your life easier remembering which way you're supposed to go. So head on up the staircase and get all the way to the top of this first cooling tower. So at the top of this tower, you're going to go ahead and see a cap stash next to some radiation barrels. So go ahead and pick that up. And then what you're going to want to do is get to the bottom of the cooling tower and head out the door we came in. You're going to see me walk around and get a little lost here in the clip as I speed it up. So uh, make sure you go out the door that we came in out the back and head over to the next cooling tower. In the next cooling tower, you're going to head up the stairs to the left side up here. And at the first le level of stairs here, you're going to see a cap stash sitting on a desk in front of you. So just run by any scorch that you see once again. And right here at the end of the table, you can see that we have a cap stash sitting here. So that's our first one in this tower. And then what you're going to want to do is head all the way back up to the top of this tower to pick up the next cap stash. All right, so and at the top of this tower, you're going to see the cap stash sitting on top of the safe in the back corner here. There's also a bobby pin box, so if you want bobby pins, there you go. Anyway, so what we're going to want to do now is head out the back of this cooling tower, so the point that's open with all like the trusses supporting it over here. And out here we're going to head up to the next ramp, so I'm going to speed up until we get to the ramp, so just follow along until we get to that point. So you can see I suck at making guides and kind of goofed in this video clip, but if you head out the back you'll see you get here faster. There's the trusses and here's the ramp. So head up the ramp. Also, fun fact, if the cooling towers are on and somebody's already done powering up Poseidon, you can take the staircase that you see me climbing up right here. This staircase goes all the way down and you can bypass the cooling tower steps since you're not going to be able to get in there without dying. So anyway, head up the ramps and make your way to behind this little eye beam right here and you will see a cap stash sitting on the ground here. Now if you have marpsupial or jetpack, you can go ahead and make this jump and get on top here to bypass a whole bunch of walking. If not, you'll have to take a ladder around to the other side. So here we go, make the jump up to our next cap stash. This next cap stash is next to this little generator or fan or whatever this would even be, and you'll be able to pick it up right here. Like I had said, if you didn't have marsupial and couldn't make that jump, that is the staircase that you would take. Also, this is the same staircase that you would take from the bottom if you were bypassing the cooling tower portion. Alright, so that is 8 total cap stashes and we have 2 more to go ahead and hit, and these ones are located a little bit higher and across a beam. Marsupial or the jetpack makes it a lot easier to get to these. If you don't have it, you saw the ramp right there to take to get up to this level. The next ramp is located around the corner over here, it's actually directly behind me. Yeah, here's the ramp right here. So this ramp will take you up to the next level here if you want to go ahead and not use marsupial and jump up. If you do have marsupial or jetpack, you can bypass this entirely and just jump up to this floor here. So anyway, once you get up to this floor, it's going to be in this little control room in the back corner over here. So just run on in here, and it's sitting in the file cabinet that is on the floor uh, right here in front of us. So go ahead and pick up this cap stash, and then we're going to head on to the final cap stash on this run. The 10th cap stash it actually puts us back to the exact starting location that we started at before. This cap stash is going to be a bit more difficult to get to if you don't have marsupial or the jetpack. However, it is 100% doable because I was doing it before I got the marsupial mutation. So anyway, what you're going to want to do is head across this beam here and jump onto the roof that you see directly in front of us. From here, you need to get a running start if you don't have marsupial. If you do, you can just jump over it. Same thing with this one, running start, and you'll be able to jump over that. And then that'll bring us to our final cap stash sitting right here next to the cooler. Also, a bobblehead spawns here, as well as psychos, radaways, and stim packs all have a chance to spawn there. So if you're looking to pick up some of those, another good location to pick them up is right there. 
And anyway, guys, that is the entirety of the run. So as you can see, we return right back to the exact starting position that we were before we started the run. So if you did like this video, make sure to leave a like. Check out some of the other Fallout 76 videos on the channel. I've got a lot of them on camp building and camp location, so if you're into that, great, great source for that. And once again, if you are not subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. I will see you at the next video. Peace.